Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been MIA for a month. I just decided to take a, you know, take a month off, girl. We have some new friends on this channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I appreciate you guys so much. And to my OGs, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving, girl, it was really good. I had fun, you know, just hang out with the in-laws, you know, how it goes. So I don't even know how to pronounce this product, but we are going to review it a foundation okay i will put the name here it sounds like a russian name girl but i'm gonna try kahiski something i don't know kahiski okay it's right here if you want to pronounce it go ahead but this is a silky matte liquid foundation and this is it here as you guys see i haven't opened it yet i wanted to open up uh with you guys yeah i believe they have around eight to ten shades so i got the shade 808 which is number eight okay if you guys are new on the channel this is a dry skin girl problem right here but i try out any foundations i don't really care if it's matte dewy we try it out on the skin because sometimes a matte foundation could work on dry skin it all depends on how you prep your skin this is around eight to nine dollars if i'm wrong i will put it down below i will put it on the screen for you guys okay so this is a waterproof face light foundation for all skin cover up based makeup concealer full coverage oil control this don't make no sense but this one i read what amazon got on here oil control foundation flawless so they have light skin tone they have medium skin tone and they also have deep skin tone they have a few reviews on there maybe like three or four of them and i'm not gonna go by what they say in the review i'm just gonna try it up myself so i really do like the bottle like this is really beautiful gold on the top black around and this is also glass okay really really cute let's see the pump oh yeah girl there's a pump right there so we're gonna use this elf hydrating primer serum okay and i'm just gonna put it on so this is selling to the skin one thing about this hydrating primer it dries down really fast. It's not sticky. It's really, really good on the skin. As you guys can see, it's not really shiny or anything, okay? And that's why I really do like to use this. So we're going to try this. I'm going to do it on one side first to see how it looks. I'm going to put it on my hand first just to see the color. Okay, so this is the color. It looks okay. Hopefully that this don't oxidize. And this brush here is from Rite Aid. Girl, I don't even know if you could find this, but bring you guys up a little closer so you guys can see it. It's okay. And it don't even look that dark on my skin. This is without, okay? When I put it on, it feel like a little matte, okay? But it's covering really good though. I'm gonna put one more pump and this is the amount that I'm gonna use. You know, we're just gonna start over here. Now, when I put it on the shade, it looks a little light, but when it sells it into the skin, you could tell like it oxidizes really fast. When you're trying a new foundation, always try it in the bottom here first, and then you work your way up. This is how I do my makeup. What do you guys think? It actually don't look that bad. This is the amount that I'm gonna put again. I'm putting a little bit at a time. I don't know what to expect when it comes to this foundation. So I rather put a little bit at a time. So this is how it looks with the three pumps that I put on my skin. Honestly, it's not that bad, girl. It is a soft matte, but I don't feel it on my skin too much. Look at this side here. I still have my little mustache area poking out. And if you guys are new here, welcome to the club. I don't like that look. So I'm gonna go over again. You know, it will cover 
the area as you guys see Okay, so we're gonna put some lashes on because you know this look is very simple as you guys know. These are the lashes that I'm gonna put on today. These are from Kiss Lash, and this is a triple push-up collection and is a 3D. Okay, it says new on here, but it's been out for a while. I got this on the Alta website, and I'm getting into like big, fluffy, wispy lashes. I like them long and you know, wispy. Anyway, I want to try out this artificial lash placement tool now i always have issue putting on lashes i could never see the band or anything like that so i want to try this out and see how it works i'm gonna let you guys know if it works for me and this is the glue that i like to use this is also from kiss and this is the lash the strip lash adhesive okay i'm gonna put it down below for you guys i like this because it has the brush and it don't have like that strong smell. I'm just gonna put it on real quick, come back, and then I'm gonna let you guys know if I stay here trying to put this on while you guys are watching me, it's gonna take forever. All right guys, so this is what I came up with. Now, as always, my lashes is not sticking down, especially this one right here. I don't know guys, like I've been having a lot of issues when it comes to lashes. If you're new year, welcome to the craziness honestly i do like these lashes they are really full and nice really nice it's not really heavy you know i really wanted something to bring out the look because it's very simple i will list it down below if you guys want to try these out they're not that long as you guys can see they are actually not that long at all i like to use my fingers to press down the lash and the lashes together but this you could also do this as well with this lash applicator this is no different from the others that i have but i always want to try all different things when it comes to lashes because i want things that to you know i want it to be more easier for me but i just think it's just me i have the problem of putting on lashes so we're just gonna go with it this is a lip pencil which is cola and the lip gloss this is this is caramel rose really nice smell smell really really good i really do like this foundation and i'm not gonna return it i really do like the way it looks on my skin it is a soft matte foundation it feels a little matte on my skin but not too much like the huda beauty foundation i only put a little powder on my neck area and a little bit over here i didn't put all over because i wanted to see what the foundation looks like without putting too much product on the face. I think I'm overthinking about this foundation. I don't know why I always think like that, like foundation is always too dark for me, but I always go with my neck. If my neck is a little lighter than my face, you know, it can't work for me. But this foundation, I could actually work with it. I bring it down a little bit with my powder. You can't find this anymore because Becca is no longer with us so it, i like it it matches my neck a little bit but this foundation is more for summertime for me i usually sweat a lot in the summertime so this will work really good in the beginning when i put it on as you guys can see it oxidized really fast if you are darker than myself they have a 9 and a 10 i recommend this foundation for all skin type okay it all depends on how you prepare your skin for foundation now, i will have everything down below for you guys if you want to get this foundation from Amazon. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I like it. It looks really, really good. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. If you tried this out before, let me know. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.